This will be the 13th video for my WordPress training course. That's you can find the whole series at www.skeeterz71.com. And this video will go over how to work with, how to man, how to add, how to manage, and how to edit links in WordPress on both your posts and pages. It works the same. It works the same on both. Okay, the first thing I want to do is discuss what are links. Links are the hyperlinks that you see on other sites that you, you can click to get places on the internet. Example, this is a hyperlink. Oftentimes, your cursor will have a change when you hover over it. So first thing we're going to do is look at the functions here. We have a link and remove link function here. Notice both of them are grayed out. But if you highlight a word that you want to link, you can just click on this link and you can actually type it type it in. I'll type in the URL for the website where you can see this video series at. And typically I give it a title. It's good for, you know, when people hover over your link, they'll get a little pop fly out that will tell them, give them the title of the link, let them know where they're going. And search engines like them too. So we're going to put a title here, WordPress training. Okay, and because, and, and usually when, when I'm linking to another site, I'll leave it where it, it will open up into a new window. So when they're done at that site, looking at whatever I'm uh, referring, they can uh, come right back to this site. And it's always a good idea if you're using material from another site, quoting a source, or whatnot, it's always a good idea to link to them. So a person can, you know, verify what you're quoting, go see the original. And it's just good internet etiquette to uh, share a link in those situations. Okay. And if I want to link to a different different site, you can just do that the same way. You can act, if you, another way to do it is just go to the uh, site itself. And just copy the link. And we will click on here. We'll paste it. And again, I'm going to have that open a new window because it's going to a different site. And if you want to link to something you have on your site that's already existing, you can just simply highlight that. Click on that. And you'll have a selection of pages and posts that you've already created that you can select from. If you have a whole bunch, you can use search search box. I'm just going to that one there and you'll notice here it puts the permalink in here and this is very important when you're linking to your own website it's important to use the, the link tool provided by WordPress because if for some reason you change the permalinks which is something we're going to do in a later video it will automatically update this for you WordPress already knows about it it will update the link you don't have to do anything so I'm going to save this as a draft you can obviously pub publish it and preview and you'll notice here I got a link there it opens in a new window link there opens in a new window and a link here that does not open a new window or shouldn't if I didn't click it I can't remember and it opens in a new window so that just brings us to the next point what to do when you mess up with a link you can edit them so we'll go back here and close that out so I had that check. You got one thing you got to remember. WordPress remembers the last thing you're doing when you're logged in. It typically will do the same thing again. So you can first you can first uh, first thing you can do you remove the link if you want by clicking this button. Simply click in your link, click that button, and it removes it. Oh, Control Z and undo that. Or you can go here to edit it, and I want to edit it. So we're going to do that, and we'll save the draft again. Or you could just simply hit preview, uh, either one, but preview, would you didn't necessarily need to save as a draft uh, to preview it. And, and you notice it didn't pop out into a new window that time, so it took me to the post I have on this site. Let's look at the uh, 
text editor where you can also do HTML. You'll notice the links here. You'll notice it has the anchor tag, followed by the title I gave it, followed by the href, and follow what target blank means going to open a new window. And let's say you you could actually add stuff. So let's say you wanted a no this to be a no follow link. You could just simply do this. Put an equal sign there. And now that becomes a no follow link as well. So that's why you can edit links. Uh, it's fairly simple, straightforward on uh, adding and managing links in WordPress for both posts and pages.